Hi, good morning. I'm sorry about all this hair. I maybe I, I need to get some haircut. I don't know, but whatever. Um, yeah, welcome back. It's Saturday morning. Um, I jotted something down um, last night after the recording. It's kind of a appetizer kind of agenda here. Things we're gonna talk about before we jump back into human the core humanology. Okay, so <coughs> um, yeah, I'm I'm drinking this uh, zero sugar soda pop. Okay, so. Uh, <coughs> Why do I keep calling soda pop, soft drink, carbonated drink? I don't know. Yeah, just soda. Let me get some cold water, okay? Uma água mineral com zelo. I just spoke Portuguese, okay? A glass of water with ice. Mm. <laughs> yeah, why not vodka? I later, later. I drank enough last night. Ah, so good. Oh boy. The diet soda. Oh boy. Give me reason to live. <laughs> give me, give my life a new meaning. Oh boy. Diet soda. A great American invention. All right. Oh boy. So good. Okay, so yeah. I have many different friends, okay? May, some of my friends, they're, they're plumbers, carpenters, electricians, okay? I have many, many friends. They have all walks of life, all different professions, you know? Yeah, I have many different, like, different friends. All age level, all races, and all different races, different age, different profession. All, I have them all, okay? My friends. They're from every, they're like everywhere. They are every. They are my friends. They are everywhere, and they are from everywhere. Okay, all different professions. Okay, rich, poor. I mean, in terms of money. Okay, I have friends like all different uh, income level. Okay, I do. Okay, All different education levels, like uh, high school graduate or PhD, all different education levels. I have them all. Okay, all different age level too. Okay, I talk to people who are like five years old, young people. I put, I talk to them. Okay, <clears throat> because I love young people. I talk to people who are like World War Two veteran in their nineties. I talk to them too. Okay. Yeah, I, I like it that way. Diversity, diversity, okay. So, um, what I learned from my friends who do uh, the plumbing, you know, HVAC system. So, um, actually that, that's kind of like what we're gonna get into this uh, It's um, copium channel, okay? 
yeah, pipe, like a channel, right? Yeah, so, until I learned from my friends, like how this plumbing works sometimes, uh, this copium channel theory was very incomplete, okay? Because you have this channel, all right? You know what, this whole copium channel theory, yeah, it, so in China, China, Korea, Japan, we have this four letter, Chinese letter maxims, okay? So Chinese maxims comes in four Chinese letter, okay? I don't know, I forgot, I used to, but I, I, I used to know, but I forgot how to write in Chinese, but I know how to write in Korea. It's called 격물 cheesy. What does this mean? You study objects, humble objects like chattel, like stone, you know, and in order to reach, reach knowledge, you know, to obtain some metaphysical, generalized knowledge, you know, to obtain that, learn that, you study individual examples, okay, something very humble, okay. So yeah, I used to be a computer programmer, right? So yeah, that's very much like plumbing because beneath the surface of nice software product, nice website, you open the lid and spaghetti worms, can of bugs. That's spaghetti code, computer program code. It's like haywire, okay? We talked about this multiple times. So computer programming is very much like plumbing, like pipe system, right? Yeah. You have this clean wall, right? Pretty house. But you open the wall, behind the wall, there's all this spaghetti haywire, right? Yeah, electric, electrical system, uh, plumbing system, or the ventilation system, HVAC system, heating system, cooling system, all that stuff. Yeah, you, you use the pipes. Pipes, it's just like vein and artery in our body, okay? So HVAC system, yeah, heating system, right? Heating, ventilation, air conditioning, okay? There's this heart in, in the house. Yeah, air conditioner or engine, that heat engine, that uh, boiler, right? Or heater, okay? Or if you live in a rural region, yeah, generator, right? It's like hard and long, okay? Windows are like eyes and also mouth of the house. Yeah, of course, of course there's a ventilation, vent, air intake, air, out, out, outlet, whatever. <laughs> okay, I just know in concept, I don't know too many terminology there, but. frame the sheet metal metal frame or carpenter carpentry those wooden frame it's like our skeleton okay skeleton of the house right and there's the insulation material like foam you know soft the insulation material is like skin right or flesh okay or muscle yeah house or building is very much like our human body or car a machine or organization okay it so it's a general concept of uh, uh, organism <clears throat> metaphysical organism okay it could be an organization like a company a family a single unit contained unit okay a house a car a machine human being a plant an animal, yeah, just one single unit, right? It's a metaphysical organism. It's a very generalized concept. Okay, that's what we do in human analogy. We generalize. We try to find one unifying principle that applies to everything in the universe. Okay? Like a planet or solar system. Yeah, metaphysical organism. A single unit, contained unit, right? It's like a set, a group, group theory, set theory, okay. All right. 
Yeah, we got a lot to talk about, okay, today. So, yeah, so we got that, okay? And, um... Yeah, so plumbing is, is like brain surgery, right? It's a rocket science. Especially nowadays, because... A house, oh, to, to understand how a house, how a building works, the heating system, that's just a lot of work. That's a lot of knowledge. Okay, there's a lot going in there. Okay, it's not easy to see. So they, yeah, they tend to make a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, plumbers, carpenters, electricians, they, they make twice as much money as I do. Okay. Yeah, I wear student type, so what? I make about what fifty thousand dollars a year, okay, or less. Probably a little bit less. Just about, okay. So I'm right in the middle, perhaps lower middle class kind of, okay. Yeah, I'm I'm very very ghetto kind of guy, okay. Totally shoe string. I mean, who buy used shoes in a second second hand store? Well, then I have to like. Winter boots, they, they can be very expensive. Winter boots. So all my winter boots, they are from second-hand store. Used winter boots. And who buy that shit? I do. I, I, because I had to. I got no money. I'm coming. Yeah, it's Alaska. Okay. It's, and uh, it's a VA guaranteed home loan. But... Still, it's half an acre lot and three bedroom house all by myself. Okay, and I like it that way. So yeah, my big money go out as a mortgage, and my car is a big car. It's a SUV. Okay. Yeah, so car loan, yeah, money goes out there and car insurance, electricity, heating bill, and um. Yeah, the, the, what, the, uh, you know, the sanitation truck, you know, all the sewage, raw sewage, you know, they have to pump it up, pump it out, you know. So money goes out there, and then the garbage collection, and what other bills am I paying? I mean, mortgage, it contains a lot of stuff, right? Monthly mortgage, pay, yeah, home, in, house insurance, whatever, right? Yeah, inter this uh, cell phone bill, internet bill, electricity, heating. My house use heating oil, okay, which works really well, okay. Yeah, it's a fossil fuel based. Okay, so uh, heating oil. Okay, and I pay for my food. Right? And uh, my food, my clothing, and gasoline. Yeah, when I drive my car, yeah, gasoline, car insurance. Okay, and um, yeah, then vodka, di this diet soda pop, and vodka, cigarettes, and um, that's where my money goes. Okay. After that, I got nothing left. It's not easy to balance the budget. It's not easy. Okay. Uh, not easy at all. Okay. So let's talk about this uh, other stuff. Was yeah, Benjamin Franklin, right? He, when I was in college, I learned that he said something very surprising to me at that time. So Benjamin Franklin, $100 bill, he said something like, uh, yeah, let's keep America white, okay? Why bring in all these ethnics? Yeah, let's just keep America white. Let's not bring in all the ethnics, okay? So I read that in, when I was in college and I was very surprised and disappointed because I thought he was racist. Now, my view has changed. I think that's a good idea. 
okay, to keep America white. Okay, what I mean is this: don't, 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 don't get all angry and upset. Okay, because I'm not white either. Okay, what I'm saying is, I, I want America to be white majoritarian country. Okay, ethnics. Let's keep it minority. Okay, I don't want America to be all Asian because we already have those countries like China, Korea, Japan. Yeah, all Asian country. We have that, so we don't need another China in America. We don't want that. Okay. How about blacks? Yeah, you have. In, you go to Africa. You have Ghana. You have Zambia. You have, uh, you know, Cote d'Ivoire, Ivory Coast, Liberia. Yeah, we'll talk about Liberia. It's a fantastic, fascinating. Story, history, Liberia. Oh my goodness, I gotta t tell you about Liberia. Not long ago, I learned this Liberia history in radio. I was listening to classical music channel, and they sometimes talk about some history. And I learned about Liberia in the classical music channel radio. <laughs> Fantastic. We'll talk about it. Yeah, so they are all black African, all black countries in Africa. So we don't want that in America, okay? We want blacks, Asians to be minority. How are Hispanic? Yeah, go to Brazil, go to Mexico. There's hundred percent all Hispanic countries. Like go to Peru. We already have one hundred percent Hispanic country. We don't want that in America, okay? We want America to be wide majority and ethnics. We want them to be minority. At least that's what I want. Okay? Why? Because we need to... White race is a very vulnerable race. We need to pro preserve and protect the white race. Because otherwise, white race will be erased. Okay? If I have sex with a white girl, our children will not be white. If it, they will just like Asian. Look at what pr fucking President Trump's stupid idiot, dumb blonde, two dollars, what... What the, what the fuck are they doing? Ivanka Trump, okay? She's very suicidal, Ivanka Trump. And Tiffany Trump, same. What I mean by suicidal is this. They want to kill their own race. So what do they do? They marry or they have sex with ethnic men. With dark skin. Like Jared Kushner. He's a, he's a Jewish guy. He's Jew. Middle Eastern, okay? So look what their daughter turned out. Such an ugly fucking girl, right? Look, She looks just like Hispanic. Okay. Shit ethnic granddaughter of President Trump. Okay. Yeah, so her this her beautiful blonde gene is not dead. Because Jared Kushner's lustful, greedy, sex hungry, uh this fornicative motive. <laughs> okay. It's fornication. Their marriage, Ivanka Trump and Jared Kushner, their marriage is invalid. It's not and void. In the eyes of humanity, because it's ultra interracialistic. Okay, ethnic man having sex with the most beautiful white girl. Okay, yeah, she, she's a beautiful girl. Of course, she's fucking stupid. She has this plastic surgery and whatnot. I think Tiffany Trump exactly the same. I think she had plastic surgery too. This silicone boobs. Okay, fucking idiot, stupid fucking family and stupid stupid daughters, stupid kids. Stupid education. That's President Trump right there. Oh my goodness. Plastic family, right? Oh yeah, yeah, the first lady, yeah. I think he got plastic surgery too. President Trump is fucking stupid. He probably paid for all those stupid silicone book plastic surgery for his daughters, his wife, his ex wives, his concubines. Right? Like uh, was Tommy Daniels or something? Awful. Ugly, ugly. Plastic surgery. Ugh. So that's President Trump, okay? So. And, uh. Yeah. They, are, they want to destroy their own Caucasian heritage. Because they think. Those beautiful white girls, they think if they marry white men, 
they think that's racist. So who do they marry? Yeah, they marry Jews, they marry Asians, they marry Blacks, they marry Hispanics. Like the beautiful blonde women who married Michael Rubio, Hispanic guy. Or Ted Cruz, another Hispanic guy. Okay? Their children, they are, they, they are not white. Okay? Because white becomes whatever color you ride on. Asian marry a white, Asian guy marry a white girl, their children look just like Asian, just like me. Okay? They don't look like white at all. Okay? A black guy marry a beautiful white girl, yeah, their children look like Barack Obama, President Obama. Okay? Who sees Barack Obama as half white, half black? No, everybody sees him as a black. Okay? Because he just looks looks like black guy. That's how it works. Okay? That's why white is very, the most vulnerable color. Okay? So, we, we don't want white race to be erased or wiped out. We like, we love white people. That's why we come here to white countries. Okay? It wasn't always like this back in the history. Roman Empire, Greek Empire, they are all Middle Eastern. Okay? White people, the barbarians, they came to Roman Empire. They not they didn't just came, they invaded Roman Empire. <laughs> ah so yeah. They came down to the Middle East. Yeah, Italy, Greece, they're more like Middle East. Okay, they're not white people. No. The but white white people like barbarian with blonde and red hair and blue eyes, they came down to invade Roman Empire because Middle East, that's the uh, mother bed of human civilization. Okay, everything started from Middle East, North Africa. That's where everything started. Like Egyptians, Israel, Iraq, Iraq, Persia. Okay, those the uh, Tigris uh, and Euphrates River. Yeah, it's all from Middle East. I mean, like Adam and Eve, right? Garden of Eden. So allegedly, according to one book, yeah, the very first human beings is from Middle East, North Africa, somewhere around there. Tigris, Euphrates, there's the Middle East region. Okay, Israel, Iraq, pa Palestine, Egypt. Yeah, that's where it started. And then some people went to the east, became Asian, north, white, south, African. Okay? And west, yeah, maybe Pacific Islanders. Okay? But probably Pacific Islanders, they're descendants of Asians. Because they kind of look like me. Asian. Okay? Yeah, so... Okay, so yeah, yeah. Uh, then what kind of ethnic people should we allow to be immigrants? Beautiful or smart people? Okay. Because beauty is a talent and also it's a lot of work. If you are beautiful, it means you are very diligent. It's not easy to be beautiful. How? So what's beautiful? Yeah, tattoo free, piercing free, marijuana free, plastic surgery free, you, and obesity free. You're free of all those unclean elements. Okay, you're slender, you're man, you're muscular. Okay. Yeah, if ethnic people are like that, and if they're or if they are very very smart, yeah, we can give them citizenship. So yeah, President Trump has some good idea. Okay. He, in terms of immigration policy, okay? Yeah, talent-based, okay? Or how about white people? Or we'll just let them in. Just because they are white? Yes, yes. Because it is our interest to protect and preserve this endangered species, Caucasian race, okay? Yeah, it is of our interest. Because they are a very beautiful race, okay? And they are endangered. You go to Europe, 
There's no white country anymore. Because all the ethnics, they always come to white country. Why? Because we love white people. They are, because they are very beautiful. Okay? It's not like, you know, China, Korea, Japan, you go there, it's all Asians. Okay? Black people, Hispanic people, white people, Middle Eastern people, they don't come to China, Korea, Japan. No. They come to white countries. Why? Because they love white countries. They love white people. Why? Because white people are beautiful. Okay? Now, if you go to Africa, if you go to Middle East, you don't, you don't get to see Asians. Asians don't go to Africa, India, or Middle East. No. Asians go to white countries. They go to Canada, United States, Australia, Europe. That's where they migrate to. All the ethnics, they always migrate to white countries. Why? Because we love white people. Why? Because they are beautiful. They have blonde hair, blue eyes, white skin, pink skin, red hair, green eyes. We don't get to see that. We ethnics, we have all black hair, brown eyes, brown skin. That's the rest of us. Blacks, Hispanics, Asians, Indians, Middle Easterns. We all look the same. Black hair, brown skin, brown eyes. That's it. Only white people have white skin or pink skin or red hair, blonde hair, blue eyes, green eyes. White race is like jewel, it's like gemstone. It's so colorful. Okay? They're not like us. We are all just browns. That's it. Yeah, the different skin tonality of brown, but more or less we are all browns. Okay? So that's why we love white people. And that's why Hollywood movie back in the days was so popular. All white casting. Oh my goodness, look at them. So beautiful. And look at white babies, white children. Oh, they're real beautiful people. Okay. Let's appreciate white people, okay? Yeah. I'm not saying white people are better than any other races in every single aspect. No, no. Black people, they are better athletes and probably better dancers and better musicians than white people. Asians, probably we are, we are better scientists than white people. Okay? Indians, maybe they are better philosophers than white people. Okay? Hispanics, yeah, better partnership dancers than white people. Every race have different talents. Okay? Every, that's what's great about America. Okay? America can be a dumpster, a trash can. They collect all the bad cultures and that's what America is doing right now. It's collecting the worst of worst in the world. It's the dust collector or this trash can of the world. It collects all the bad stuff from the world. Like a sponge. Tattooism, piercism, marijuanaism, criminalism is taking all the best, the worst and wor worst of the worst from the world. Like female genital mutilation, female circumcision. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Bring it all in. Yeah. Burka, hijab. Yeah. Sexism. Bring it all in. Oppression of women. Yeah. Bring it all in. Yeah. All criminals in El Salvador. You know, what? MS-13, whatever, yeah, bring them in, oh, yeah, LGBT, oh, yeah, you LGBT, you're political asylum, yeah, come for it, I'll give you a situation. Gay, yeah, yeah, bring with, bring all your AIDS, your diseases, come to America, we'll give you a situation, just because you're gay, okay. Lesbian, yeah, you have attitude, right, you're rude, mean, ugly, fat, yeah, come in, you're lesbian, yeah, transgender, come in, I'll give you free citizenship because you're LGBT, yeah especially protected and worshipped, revered, kind. Yeah, you LGBT, yeah, come free. I'll give you free citizenship. So yeah, America has become the, the landfill, the dumpster, trash can of the world. It brings in, America is bringing in the worst of everything. Worst people, worst ideologies, worst, worst cultures, like tattoo, piercing, 
see what I'm saying? Marijuana, gang members, MS-13. Yeah, it's bringing the worst, to, the worst from the world. Okay, that's what America is doing. Back in the days, it used to be the other way, right? Because America was very sane country. Now it is insane. Okay, just like President Trump or President Obama. Okay, it started going down since President Obama. Okay, President Obama, President Trump, yeah, they are all both not as good as their predecessors. All right, so um, it's not their fault. It's all of us. We elected them, so it's not their fault. In a way, our society, us, we produce them too. Okay? So it's all of our fault. We cannot blame just President Obama, Pope Francis, Pre the Justice Kennedy. We cannot blame those top dogs. No, it's all of us. We, we demanded, we pushed them. Justice Kennedy, President Obama, we pushed them to approve gay marriage. That's why they did. Because they could have gone either way. Why? Because they are political animals. They don't have any backbone. They go whatever with the majoritarian view in America. Because from what I read, uh, President Obama, just like Madam Secretary Hillary Clinton, he used to be anti-gayist when anti-gayism was popular. Then pro gayism became more popular, so they just flipped a, co flipped a coin and switched side. Okay? They go over with whatever the majority is, just like any other politician. Okay? So yeah, we cannot quite blame. Put all the blame on President Obama, Justice Kennedy, because we did, we pushed them. Okay? Yeah, of course, I mean, if they had backbone, probably they would, ha would not have made that high level. President Obama, if he had political backbone, moral conviction, probably he would not have been elected as the president of the United States. And Justice Kennedy would not have been become Justice Kennedy. Why? Because unless you obey the majority, people are not going to vote for them. Unless you ob obey your superiors, you cannot get ahead in your career. Okay, me, I'm just scrolling on the bottom of society because I have moral conviction, because I don't compromise. So I don't get very high. I probably die just like this, making average American salary. Probably this, they will be as far as I, I can get. I'm okay with that. Why? I would rather live free than live in a golden cage. Okay, I'd rather live free as an earthworm. They will never ever become a butterfly <laughs> as long as I'm free. Caterpillar, yeah, yeah, but you are in what? You know, greenhouse. So you are being harvested as a butterfly. And they will put, they will inject you with alcohol and now you are in this nice frame. You're a dead butterfly. In a fancy multi million million house butterfly, but you're dead. I don't want that shit, okay? I'd rather live as an old one forever, not as caterpillar who one day will become a butterfly and then collected by this mil billionaire and get killed and nice frame on the wall display a dead butterfly. I don't want that. I'd rather live as an earthworm forever, okay? And I would rather die as an earthworm, as long as I'm free, okay? I don't need all that glitter of fame, money, power, where well, I don't need it. Do I want it? Yeah. If God give it to me, I take it. <laughs> but freedom is more valuable. So if I have to choose between the two, freedom, fame, I choose freedom. That's my priority. 
Okay. I want to breathe. I want space. That's why I came to Alaska. We have a lot of space here. The lowest population density, that's Alaska. Because Alaska is the single biggest state in the United States. Compared to Texas, Alaska is like five times bigger. Or three times, something like that. Alaska is huge. Is California bigger than Alaska? Let me look it up. Maybe it is. Because California is big too. What's the biggest state in America? It is Alaska. And then Texas. Then California. Then Montana. Then New Mexico. Yeah, it's, it is Alaska. Oh, so Texas is second biggest, huh? Alaska is about 2.5 times bigger than Texas. Okay. So, yeah, Alaska is big and population density, probably the least. Let me look it up. Lowest population density. I, th I think it should be Alaska. Yeah, it is Alaska. The lowest population density, Alaska. <coughs> we got a lot of space. And I love it. Okay. But if I'm famous, oh, I'd be too busy, right? Because everybody will want to talk to me. And they'll be a waste of my time. So it's better if I'm not famous. So my YouTube viewership is very, very decreasing. It's by now, it's like almost zero. Nobody's watching this. And that's good because I can focus on development, research and development of human knowledge away from all the distraction. Okay. So I'm kind of like hermit, you know, independent scholar, like uh, in isolation, like Mendel or Mendeleev. Mendel, you know, inheritance, this genetics, Mendelian genetics, Mendeleev, periodic, periodic table. Oh, Einstein, how about that? Einstein, yeah, yeah, they were studied in isolation, right? And Einstein, he reached in this height of fame and influence, power, money, while he was alive, right? But not every big time historic people are like that. They become famous posthumously. It happens many times in human history okay yeah newton he he was a good scientist and he was famous during his lifetime so sometimes it worked their way sometimes like mendel mendeleev they don't quite get recognized during their lifetime okay they get rediscovered after they are dead that can happen to me or human knowledge may die with me forever that's possibility too i don't know what's gonna happen we're going to take a break, all right? Let's take a break.
Okay, so I have many <clears throat> friends from India, you know, South South Asia, you know, India, who came to America as with a student visa, and they excelled in school, and they got employed, and their employer sponsored their American citizenship, and then they became American citizens, and um, they bring their wives from India, and their wives also become citizens. Is it a good thing? Absolutely. Why? Because they are the smartest. They are the best, the smartest Indian, well, some of the smartest Indian people, and also some of the most beautiful Indian women that they are bringing in. So. That's a huge plus to America, okay? Good quality. <laughs> do, do we want those Indians? Absolutely. They are the brightest and the most beautiful Indians. Okay? Do, they, do we want them in America? Absolutely. They're smart, they're beautiful. Yeah, absolutely. Not just from India, from any country. The smartest, the most beautiful, yeah. Come, come to America. Okay? We need those people. Beautiful people, smart people. Yeah, they're ethnic, but so what? We want them here, okay? Because they're going to make America a very rich country and very beautiful country. Okay? Yeah, by all means. Okay? So, when I came back to America, I was in a rag. I was a mess. I mean, I was not stylish. I wasn't beautiful. I wasn't that smart. But as I, and also I was stupid. Okay. So, but fortunately I happened to be born in this country and my parents came here. My dad, very smart guy, very hardworking. My mom, very beautiful lady. Okay, they came to America and they gave birth to me here. So citizenship by birth and it was all legal. Why my dad came with my mom with student visa and he didn't just come here. He got scholarship to come here because he was that smart. Okay. Yeah, so I was born here. Is it good that America gave me citizenship? Absolutely. Why? Because smart, hardworking father beautiful mother so I'm more likely to be beautiful and smart okay so yeah it's a great audition to America okay at least I think so okay so citizenship by birth is legit if it's not some birth tourism the tourist visa that dance this all garbage right but it's in like student visa, okay, uh, then yeah, yeah, it's good gym, good quality gym, right? Yeah, so I think that kind of bus by citizenship is good. We should keep it, okay? But bus tourism, like people come to America with tourist visa, nah, nah. Bad quality gym, okay? We don't want them to be Americans, okay? So yeah. Illegal immigrants, children, they were born in America? No, absolutely not. Bad genes. We're not going to give them citizenship at all. Okay? But student visa, yes. Like, you know, good high level student visa, like PhD or master's, whatever, okay? Not some bogus. Okay? Yeah. Anyway, yeah, we're just talking about other stuff before we talk, get into this copium channel theory, okay? It's enhanced. Probably it's not perfect yet, but enhanced. Because I learned about plumbing, okay? So, yeah, I got some audition, okay? It's something I could have learned only in plumbing, not in physics book, okay? So copium channel theory. Now it's getting better, okay? So, 
But before we talk about that, we'll talk about some other stuff first, okay? Yeah, the democratization of elitism. Because Facebook, it started as, you know, the small community program uh, or in Ivy League school. What, what is Ivy League? Yeah, Eastern Coast, University of Pennsylvania, Brown University, Columbia University, Dartmouth College, Harvard University, Yale University, uh, Cornell University, and um, I think there's one more. Princeton University, right? So there are eight of them. Okay, and then you have big schools like Harvard of the South, Duke University, right? Yeah, the top elite school. Or in, uh, in the Eastern Coast and Western Coast, you have Stanford, you have University of Berkeley, California Berkeley. Yeah. Yeah, UCLA, that's big school too. In the Midwest, what are some good universities in the Midwest? University of Texas, Austin. Yeah, University of Illinois, Urbana, Champaign. University of Michigan, Ann Arbor. Okay. And yeah, University of Wisconsin, Madison, that's pretty good school too. What are some good colleges in the Midwest? Maybe Case Western. Is it in... I'm not sure where that is. Oh, University of Ohio in our uh, Columbus. Ohio, I think. Where, where is Case Western? Is it in Iowa? Or I'm not sure. Is it Ohio? Oh yeah, Purdue University in Indiana. Or Indiana University or University of Indiana. Yeah, they're big schools too. Where is uh, Case Western? Case Western Israel University. Where is it? Where is that school? Case Western. Wikipedia, okay. Oh. It's in Ohio, Cleveland, Ohio, okay. Case Western. It's in Ohio, Cleveland, Ohio, okay. Well, yeah, so big schools, okay. Yeah, they bringing in uh, foreign talents by offering them scholarship, free study in PhD program, master's program, because they know, the American universities, they know what for, some foreign talents have to offer. Indians, Chinese, Japanese, Koreans, Iranians, some of them are extremely smart people, okay? Like Srinivasa Ramanujan, okay? He's, he wrote a letter to this British mathematician Harding, I think? Something like that in Cambridge University in England, right? And he recognized this talent and he invited this Srinivasa Ramanujan to Cambridge, England. Okay, because 
some Indians, some Asians, or some Middle Easterns, or some Africans, they're extremely smart. <laughs> so do American universities want them to study for free? Yeah, because it's worthwhile investment, okay? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a good program, okay? Uh, okay? Yeah. And most of those people also are kind of traditional. So they tend to marry their own race, like my mom, I mean, my dad, my mom, okay, my friends, yeah, Indian friends marrying Indian girls, yeah, bringing their wives from India, okay, my mom, my dad, but Asians, uh, Chinese, Japanese, Koreans, they tend to go back to their country, okay, so, um, which is cool too, okay, because once they studied in America and they are, they got scholarship too in America and they got educated in America so they become friends of America all these people Chinese Korean Korean Japanese PhD students who study in America they go back to their country and they become very top government officials or influential people in their country back there, in China, Korea, Japan, okay? Some of them become presidents in their own countries, okay? Now, America have allies in Asia. It's a good investment, even if they go back to their own countries. It's not money lost, okay? It's investment for the future, international, camaraderie, rapport, good relationship, allies in China, in Korea, and in Japan because they love America. Once they came to America and studied in America, they know Americans are nice. And also, America invested on them. So they will give something back. By good relationship, you know, trade relationship, yeah. It's a good thing, okay? I know these things. Do pre does President Trump know any of this? No, no. What does he know? What, real estate development? Come on. No. I am more knowledgeable and wiser, smarter, younger than President Trump. So you should vote for me in 2020 November, okay? Democrats, Democratic Party candidates, come on. Oh, all they know is what? Garbage knowledge, full of garbage knowledge. Oh, gay marriage. Yeah, I'm gay, so vote for me. Yeah, I hope. I, uh, I'm a huge fan of gay marriage, so yeah, that's why you should vote for me. The Democrats, their strategy is this. Yeah, open border, bring in all the Ill Ill illegal immigrants. Uh, yeah, we're gonna hand out city American citizenship so that you can vote for us. Democrats, okay? That's Democratic Party's agenda, okay? their strategy. Yeah, bring in all gay, LGBT, all the Im illegal immigrants and give them free citizenship so that you vote for me. Democratic Party candidate, okay? So that's, they are uh, like this, this are uh, selling their soul to the devil, okay? That's what they're doing. Um, so yeah, <laughs> it's horrible, okay. Okay, so now oh, Liberia, yeah, let's talk about it. Liberia is like this, okay. I, I learned like a month ago on radio. Back in the days, during the days of Thomas Jefferson and kind of during the slavery days, okay, in America, Africans and also African Americans, many of them still slaves, or freed slaves, ex-slaves, or 
slave owners like Thomas Jefferson. <laughs> okay, all these white people, they said, yeah, what if all these uh, African Americans, they go back to America, uh, Africa and build their own colony? That's Liber Liberia. Okay, so they speak English there. Okay. And they did. They, yeah, so all the ex slaves or slaves, African Americans, and some whites. Okay. Yeah, they, in a boat or a couple of boats, yeah, they went to Africa and they colonized this chunk of land in Africa. That's the beginning of the birth of Liberia as a nation in Africa. Okay. It's collaboration between uh, African Americans and Caucasian Americans, like Thomas Jefferson and some famous people. Yeah. They built a brand new country in Africa. So the descendants of slaves, African Americans, they went back to Africa and built their own country. That's Liberia. Isn't it cool? Oh, I was so fascinated by this story. Whew. Yeah, there was some political upheaval, blah, blah, blah. And they have some problem there. Uh, they have some genital mutilation practice in it. In this country, there's like many African countries do like female circumcision. Oh, horrible things! Horrible thing. It's a way to exploit women, oppress and suppress women. This female circumcision, what does it do? I think it get rid of clitoris so that women don't enjoy sex, so that women don't have orgasm. My goodness, crazy stuff, yeah. But it has very long tradition in Africa. But it's a bad tradition. We should get rid of it. But it has very long history. Just like gay stuff. How long is that tradition? All the way from Book of Genesis, Sodom and Gomorrah. Okay, that's gay. Gayism, homosexuality, has very long tradition, but it's a bad tradition. We should get rid of it. Okay, piercings, like piercing, like, like pi <laughs> piercing. Okay, <laughs> like here piercing, there. Yeah, long tradition in Africa. We should get rid of it. Tattoos, tattoos, like. <laughs> Look at this tattoo, it's spreading! Like, ah, ah, oh, 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 I'm covered by tattoos. Long tradition in Polynesia, Pacific Islands, Micronesia, whatever. We should get rid of it. Bad tradition. Alright? There are good traditions and bad traditions. Okay? If it's bad, we should get rid of it. Okay? Like female circumcision. Oh my goodness. Burkas, hijabs, bad tradition. We should get rid of it. Alright? Marijuana. Yeah, we should get rid of it. Bad tradition. Hemp. Bad tradition. Get rid of it. Okay. Ultra interracialism. Yeah. So Jimi Hendrix, right? He had sex with a lot of these beautiful model type young white girls. Jimi Hendrix, black guy. So you, 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 do you own, are you a huge fan of Jimi Hendrix? Do you own his CDs? Burn it, okay? Because he's an ultra fucking interracialist. Do you own Bruce Lee's movies? Burn it. Because he's a, Bruce Lee is an ultra interracialist. He's an Asian guy. He married a beautiful young white girl, okay? Yeah, Jimi Hendrix, he had sex with this group, his female, white female, young, his fans. Yeah. Born his music. Bruce Lee movie, yeah, born it. Okay. You have Tiger Woods, had Tiger Woods video games, born it. Okay. But don't kill them. Don't kill Tiger Woods. Don't kill ultra interracialists who, who are still living. Don't kill them, don't kill people. If you own their products, yeah, trash it, burn it. Okay. 
just dump it into dumpster, just trash it, okay? Because yeah, it probably is better to just trash it or shred it or rip it off. Like, or just trash it, okay? The burning can be hazardous. I don't want you to burn, burn down your freaking house, man. Uh, but yeah, ultra interagialism, yeah. It's bad, okay? But don't kill nobody, okay? Don't assault anybody. Don't commit any crime. Because human allergy do not condone violence. We don't. We are pacifist. We are very much Jesus here, okay? We love our enemies, alright? Okay? So yeah, the Liberia, fantastic country. Fantastic history. So we have that. Now, uh, after a break, we get to the bottom of this uh, copium channel theory inspired by study of plumbing, okay? Um, it's something you don't learn in a physics book, okay? So plumbing is like very much like engineering, you know? Yeah. Great knowledge, practical knowledge, okay? Oh, they make big money, man. Oh. And they, they deserve it. It's a very difficult job. Okay. Oh, boy. A lot to study and, uh, oh, expertise. Professional. Okay. These people are very knowledgeable. Okay, so. Yeah. We're going to take a break and we get to this. Okay. So, copium channel theory being enhanced, improved by st after study of plumbing, okay?
So, um, we talked about Copium channel long time ago. Okay, so let me give you some background. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna start drinking. Okay, this is a it's a very interesting theory in humanology. Okay, and it's a big chap big chapter in humanology too. It's fairly big. Okay, so Copium channel is like it's a abstraction generalization. Okay. Or anything that we do, okay? There are two kinds of things that we do. We act or we perceive. Action, output. Perception, input. Okay? These are the five senses, right? Eye, nose, mouth, taste, skin, touching, you know, and hearing, right? Five senses. Okay? Input. Like your computer. What's that? What are some input device of your computer? Mouse, keyboard, camera. Right? Or this CD-ROM drive. Yeah, this input, right? Or USB. Okay? Back in the day, they used to have this hard disk. I mean, the floppy disk, right? If you're old enough to know that. Or cassette tape even. Back in the days. Input device, right? What are some output device? Well, your your cell phone is a computer, okay? A smartphone. Or your laptop computer. Or your tablet. Okay, it has output device. What are they? Yeah, computer monitor. Or speaker. Output device. Okay. Or printer. Okay. Yeah, scanner input. Printer output, okay. Yeah, so copium channel, there are two kinds. Perception channel, input channel, okay. Or action channel, that's output channel, okay. It's copium channel. What is copium? Yeah, you can think of it, energy, okay. So, when you, when the same music play in your head, what's the solution? Because it's so annoying. Yeah, you turn on the radio and you listen to some other music then it's gone. The this same song playing again and again in your head. It's like your hard disk drive, C drive between your ears. Right? Your brain. Yeah, you can press tap on that by just playing radio. Listen to a new music that you'd never listen to then. That probably is gone. Why? Because we only have one CPU in our brain, just like one CPU in your computer. And nowadays they have some parallel CPU, right? Yeah, but in your brain, you have only one brain. Yeah, you can walk and chew the gum at the same time. But in terms of music, yeah, you listen to brand new music, then old music playing in your head is gone. You have only one CPU, okay? Sorry, I gotta go to the bathroom, okay, okay. I'll be right back.
Sorry, nature code. Sorry. Okay, so let's do copium channel theory, okay? So, um, yeah, okay, copium channel, okay? It's very broad concept, very generalized abstraction. Like, you go hiking, okay? So, Robert Frost, he said, yeah, I walk down this unbeaten path and he made all the difference, something like that, right? So yeah, he ma made a brand new hiking trail, I guess. In Alaska, it snows, okay? So I'm kind of a beneficiary of homeless people, okay? Because they walk. And they make all this nice snow trail. Nice well-beaten path. Because I, I'm a runner, okay? Yeah, I run along that beaten path made by homeless people, okay? <laughs> I'm a beneficiary of homeless people. By the way, back in the day of Renaissance in Europe, there was this small movement about encyclopedia, okay? Collector of knowledge, collection of knowledge. They're kind of radical people at back then, like revolutionaries, intellectuals, so what they did was and they were persecuted, right? So they make all these encyclopedia entries and because people are people were going after them, you know, to chase them, hunt them down. Oh you are political rebel, you know, you're mutinous, you know, rebellious, so you're writing encyclopedia, okay, I will find something that's gonna I'm gonna use against you. And they knew that. In encyclopedia writers, so I forgot their names, but I, I learned in high school in Korea, okay? Their strategy is this. Controversial topics like politics or religion, they wouldn't express their political, controversial political opinion, okay? But in some obscure entry, like what? Maybe a, some unknown, very obscure concept or obscure person, obscure animal. Th there, in those entry, encyclopedia entry, they express their highly, highly controversial, hot button topic issues. Okay. But they wanted to express their political controversial political views, but they didn't want to be prosecuted for that okay I'm doing kind of same thing here because most people who watch this video clips they watch the first 10 minutes and then they move on okay so I know okay so I don't I try to avoid talking about controversial hot hot button topics I try to avoid talking about it in the first 10 minutes but later on yeah in the middle of this three hour footage yeah, I talk about highly controversial things, okay? Because I, I don't want to be involved in all that. <laughs> I don't want to deal with all the opposition and stuff. I have better things to do than debate with somebody. Okay, anyway. All right, copium channel, okay? So, yeah, channel, way, it's like Tao. Yeah, in, in Chinese, I know how to write Tao. Okay, Ch this Chinese character for way, road, the way. In Korean, it's pronounced as to. Like to revi paso la si to. To. Chinese, tao. Okay? Yeah, it's kind of similar pronunciation. <coughs> yeah, it means road. Or camino, el camino, you know? <laughs> el, el camino. <laughs> that is this. US Army cadence. Oh, it's funny. 
I composed my own cadence actually, and I sang when we were marching, I mean running in the morning during the PT army PT session, and people, my colleagues were like, "What the hell is he talking about? I I don't know what he's saying because first of all he had this Korean accent, and then he came up with his own stupid cadence." Yes. I we are sidetracking, but that's fine. Wait, it's coming Saturday morning. Give me a break. So <laughs> I gotta talk about this. It's a funny story. In the army, we have this cadence about rangers, but I I wasn't a ranger. So why are we talking about rain doing this cadence by ranger? I guess rangers came up with it. But we are not rangers. Okay, why are we doing thing about ranger? Come on. So I put some fun of rangers. Okay, elite. Oh. We don't like elites. I mean, I don't. I, I mean, I don't like elite. I don't dislike elite people. I hate elitism, okay? Okay, although they have some good functionality, okay? Yeah, Harvard, Yale, yeah, it's all cool, okay? They're cool, fine, okay? Special Forces, Ranger, yeah, they're all cool, okay? Maybe I'm just jealous <laughs> because I never got in there. Okay, so, yeah, my cadence that I compose is like this. I don't want to be a sick call ranger. Uh, something like hiding in the infirmary, out of danger, sick call, like, you know, going to this army nurse. I don't want to be a sick call ranger. Hiding in the infirmary, out of danger. That's what I came up with, okay? Infirmary, like nurse station, you know? So this sick call, sick call ranger is hiding. <laughs> hiding in the infirmary, pretending he's sick. Ah! <laughs> because he, does, he doesn't want to do pity. <laughs> Is that fucking part of that? Oh my goodness. I liked it, but people didn't like it. So they refused to sing with me. Oh my goodness, this is so funny. <laughs> what, 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 what the hell is he talking about, man? <laughs> Good old army days, man. Oh boy. Army is surprisingly very flexible organization. Okay. Yeah, there are rules. But they are very, tend to be very flexible too. Oh, yeah, Ar U.S. Army is a fantastic organization. I cannot speak for Marine or Navy or Air Force or Costa Guard, but I have friends from all those branches. Oh, many. I have many friends. Veteran friends. Some of my friends are still in active duty. Yeah. I have ex-Marine friends, ex-Navy friends. Ex Simon friends. Yeah, there's Simon joke, of course. But, well, I'm not Navy. But I have friends from all those branches, okay? Costa Guard, Air Force. Well, one Air Force joke that I came up with is Oh, Air Force for girls! <laughs> Air Force have a lot of money, so yeah. Air Force is the military, US military branch where there are uh, more percentage of females in Air Force, okay, than any other branches. Why? Air Force got a lot of money. It is all that glitter of these jets, airplane, okay. Yeah, girls love money, so. Air Force defect, what is defect? Dining facility. Yeah, it's like cafeteria in the military, okay. Air Force defect, oh, they got the best food. Air Force. Barracks, what is barracks? It's like dormitory, you know, military dormitory. Yeah, Air Force uh, barracks, the best of the best. Air Force got a lot of money because yeah, they have airplanes and stuff. Okay, of course they are, they have a lot of money. Okay. <laughs> yeah, a lot of girls. Yeah, they go to Air Force. 
Have I seen some pretty female soldiers in the US Army? Yes, yes. I have. Okay, some army, US Army soldiers, female soldiers, they are like really, really, really beautiful. Some of them. I've seen that. Okay. But when I was in the US Army for the for four years, I never dated. Female soldiers. I dated civilians couple of times have I ever had sex with those civilians when I was in the US Army no, no. never not once have I kissed civilians when I was dating civilians when I was in the US Army I don't think so not once for four years Okay. Have I ever had sex when I was in the U.S. Army? Yes. With whom? I think it's like a red light district. Okay. Yeah, I've, I've been there. Okay. Um, yeah. In foreign countries. Okay. When I was in vacation. Okay, so. I'm not going to get into any details, okay? I, I'll stop right there. Okay, how about when I was in law school for two years? I graduated from law school in two years. Typically three years. Probably I'm, the, I'm not sure is there anybody who finished law school in two years in the United States. Maybe I'm the only one. So I don't know of any. But my alma mater law school was generous enough to let me do that. How? I took two summer semesters. When they go on internship, whatever, but ah, internship, I'm not a huge fan of internship. I have done some internship before, okay? But in law school, yeah, internship is cool, okay? It's, it's all cool. But in law school, I did not want to, want, I did not want to drop out, like I dropped out of PhD program in Ivy League school. Okay, so I was in PhD program for two years, okay? Because I'm kind of like this, Wanderlust kind of guy, you know, I get distracted easily, you know I'm inter interested in everything all things So My attention attention span is kind of short, you know, I Mean I have no problem concentrating and focusing but again I'm a creative individual. I'm not a working machine working bee. I'm not an elite. Okay. I'm a creative kind of guy so with diverse interest. So I didn't want to drop out again in the, from this graduate school, law school, okay? So you know what? I'm gonna just get it done and over with in two years. So I took two summer classes, summer semesters, and um, I graduated in two years, okay? My law school grade was like 3.012 something out of four, so it wasn't that good, but it was top 10 law school, okay, in America, so. It was good enough, all right? So um, so I graduated in two years. During those two years, have I ever had sex? No. Have I went out dating? Yes. Have I kissed? Yes. But I did not have sex for two years when I was in law school. What was it? Is it because I studied so much, so busy with studying? Yeah, kind of, but I was equally busy, if not more, learning how to dance, okay? Because I used to go to like Detroit and yeah, they have, yeah, Motown. They have fantastic uh, this dance clubs, okay? Okay, so yeah, I learned how to dance there. Kind of, basically. Yeah, before that, yeah, I did try to dance. I, I, I learned some, but took some classes too, okay. <clears throat> In some week, I would go to dance club like three times a week. On some week, even four times, I think. Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Some week. 
Okay, yeah. So, yeah, I, I did dance. Okay. But no sex. No. Okay. Anyways. Why am I talking about my sex life? Man? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, back to uh, Copium Channel Theory, okay? So, yeah, hiking hiking trail. We go down the path, it becomes a trail, right? But uh, if we are not using this trail, there is built up and resistance in the trail. Like grass. In the summer, yeah, grass, it grows and covers the trail, dirt, all these debris, dirt, dead bugs, dead animal, dead tree branches, fallen leaves. Yeah, so the resistance kind of builds up. If this trail is not used, hiking trail is not used over time, right? Yeah, so the resistance go up. And when as more and more people use this trail, then it becomes resistance go down, less obstacles, become more smoother trail or road. Yeah, highway or driving road. If nobody drive on the road, then yeah, there's snow p piling up and dirt collecting after rain. Yeah, trash or dirt, tree leaves, tree branches, okay? Resistance build up. But as you use, when it snows, highway is still fine, why? Because cars are driving in this highway, so snows, it kind of melt away or get pushed to the side. Yeah, it's still drivable as long. Because snow get compact. I mean, that's, no, I don't have I don't I have money to call snow plower to clean up the snow in my front yard or driveway. So what do I do? I have four wheel drive SUV, so I just roll my car over the snow, back and forth, back and forth. I compact the snow. Okay. Yeah, low budget kind of shoestring snow plowing. Okay. Necessity is mother of invention, okay? Because I'm poor person, yeah, I come up with a brand new invention, brand new hairstyle, <laughs> whatever. So, it's not money, it's idea, okay? Problem with President Trump and all these policy makers, politicians, is they think money and legislation is solution to everything. That's the only thing that they know how. Okay, my approach in politics is very different. It's about ideas. It's not about money. It's not about laws. It's idea. It's a Holy Spirit. Okay, how do we solve the, all these health problems in America? Rising medical cost. Yeah, diet and exercise. How? I will show them how I eat, how I exercise. I will diet and exercise with America. Because there'll be this camera crew, just one person, with handheld camera. We, he and I will go together to Walmart and I will shop this canned beans, chicken breast, frozen, glazed chicken breast in Walmart, and some nice frozen vegetables like broccoli, whatnot, carrots. Yeah. I put them together and I freeze it. That's my meal. Then I microwave it with what pouring some water. Okay, we have some ramen noodle, which is like what, twenty cents per ramen noodle, right? Yeah, I put spice in there, and if, later on I put the noodle there. Yeah, then it cook it. Yeah, it's yummy, delicious, nutritious, lean, zero sugar, zero fat. Okay, and chip, lean and chip, and it takes so little time. I save money, I save time, and it's healthy, 
And it's yummy too, okay? Again, it's not about money. No, it's about idea. Okay? It's the Holy Spirit. Then I can save America. And I, I exercise with you. The camera guy. Yeah, we run. Yeah, there's this what? Motion stabilizer, handheld, right? I forgot what is steady cam or something. Yeah, yeah. So this camera crew, camera guy, just one guy, okay? Oh, one girl. Well, hopefully a single girl. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, camera girl, like ca not a camera man, but camera woman, okay? Hopefully single. Doesn't have to be young, okay? I prefer mature ladies, so uh, yeah, camera lady, how about that? Camera girl, camera lady, hopefully single, hopefully fit, hopefully mature in her mid 40s, maybe. Yeah, the cam camera lady, with, camera woman, camera girl, hopefully single, <laughs> she'll run with me. The steady cam, handle the camera. And again, no money needed. H how much does it cost when you run? Zero. It's running, okay? Push-ups and sit-ups. It doesn't cost a single penny to do push-ups and sit-ups. Body weight. You go to Walmart, you can buy these dumbbells. Dumbbells. And the, the this crowbar, this uh, pull-up bar that I showed you, right? And on the door, this threshold, you know? Yeah, pull-up bars in Walmart. The dirt chip, okay? So it's not about, oh, gym membership. Oh, I gotta change my clothing. No, 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 no. Be efficient, like I am. Learn from me. I showed you. I can. I exercise with, with my uh, suit and tie. Why? Because I don't want to change. Oh no, no. I used to go to gym. I used to have gym membership, but nowadays I got no money, so I exercise at home. Okay. Yeah. With my full clothing on. Okay. Like Secret Service, FBI style. Yeah, they run with suit and tie and raincoat. You watch X Files, yeah, that's what they do. You watch what this uh, on the line of fire or something. Yeah, Secret Service, FBI, they run with suit and tie, raincoat, long coat. Yeah, it's beautiful, stylish. Do it. If you are like me, well, I'll never be an FBI agent or Secret Service, right? So, if I cannot be an FBI, at least let me run like an FBI. If I cannot be a Secret Service agent, at least let me run like a Secret Service agent. Okay, with suit and tie and long coat. Yeah, I'm running. Okay. With everything on, with my wallet, with my cell phone, keys, cigarette, lighter, yeah. I'm I'm still running. Okay, so anyway. Back to Copium channel. Okay, so. Yeah, so. Yeah, there's physical channel. Channel, road, this the one dimensional line. Okay, we're walking down. Hiking path, road, trail, hiking trail, whatever. Okay? Passage. There's physical channel. Okay? What is Copium? That flows through this channel yeah you person or bear moose deer yeah this deer trail bear trail right yeah I, i'm a hiker so i get sometimes i get off the track because sometimes i like to do that sometimes i want to get lost in the woods okay because i'm fucking stupid i'm a dude i'm a man i'm a stupid boy Boy at heart, retarded motherfucker. Okay. I'm sorry. Retarded fucker, okay? I'm retarded asshole, okay? So, yeah, sometimes I go off the trail and because I want to get lost. Okay? And, uh, yeah, sometimes I have to backtrack. Oh, and, oh my goodness, where the fuck I am? Where the fuck am I? And, okay, let's find some road. And I go down the road and 
on the wrong side of the highway somehow. How did I get here? So I walked down and to see the sign to see where I am in this highway. Oh my goodness, I've been walking these miles in the wrong direction. Because my car is back there, so okay. Now let's go back that way. Sometimes I have to climb some fences too. <laughs> oh boy, okay. Yeah, we, we guys are like that. We are stupid. We are fucking stupid, okay? So sometimes we get stupid stuff like that. We get injured sometimes and... We are stupid, okay? We do stupid shit. Because let boys be boys, okay? That's how we are, okay? So yeah, wandering around in the Alaskan forest. Sometimes I do that shit, okay? But yeah, I have camelback. Camelback, you know, the water that you can wear on your back and the straw, you know. And I have bear, bear can too, bear spray in there, okay? Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, when I go to off, off the trail, I go a little bit and I can see this moose trail. Okay, if not, it's bear trail, I don't know. But yeah, I can see the trail, but it's not human trail. Okay, it, it kind of looks like moose trail, but I can see the trail. Yeah, goat trail, moose trail, deer trail, okay. Yeah, they, because they prefer going down this trail. Moose, deer, bear, why? Because it's easier. It's just like us, human, humans, okay? They have these roads, this pavement out in the forest, okay? They're like us. They don't want to deal with all these tall grasses. Nah. Yeah, they follow the trail. So that's how trappers trap animals, like rabbits. Yeah, they use the trail. So, and this seasoned tra season trappers, they, they can recognize these animal trails and they put this trap along the trail because they know animals follow the same road. Okay, so they put a trap in the, that animal trail. Okay, because they know animals regularly use the same trail, animal trail, rabbit trail, deer trail. Yeah, they're just like us. Okay, they have roads. So they put a trap here and they, <laughs> that's the trapping. Okay, I know this because I studied it. Okay. And I have friends who do that stuff. Okay. Yeah. We're gonna take a break and we'll talk about this cooking channel, okay? Alright, take a break. Alright, I hope you are having fun.
Okay, we're back. Uh, I'm gonna just take it easy today, okay? Let's come it's Saturday, all right? Saturday morning, so. It's in the morning, like what time? Like seven o'clock, eight o'clock? Eight o'clock, okay. So I went outside, took some pictures of this beautiful red, purple sunrise. Oh, so pretty. Yeah, Alaska is very pretty. Okay. You wanna see some of my pictures? I'll show you. Yesterday, yeah, I took a picture of um, sunset. This morning, I took a picture of sunrise. I show you beautiful sunrise. Yeah, sunrise. Okay, this is my front yard. Okay, can you see? Yeah. I show you a picture of sunset yesterday, last night. I was driving to, dro driving home from work. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Sunset. Isn't it pretty? All this graduation of color, you know, light blue to deep, deep, dark blue. Oh my goodness, so pretty. Alaska is a fantastic place. Oh my goodness, so pretty. Yeah, here. <laughs> Beautiful. I had to stop my car. Well, I show you to. I'll make it rotate sideways. Yeah, this. Okay. Because uh. Oh my! It just blew my mind away. You know. Oh, because uh. I was driving home and there's a beautiful sunset and I just there's a lake on the, on the way so I kind of pulled over in the lake parking lot and took picture. Sometimes I do that shit. <laughs> it's just too beautiful to miss. And uh, oh mountains and all that. Okay, so. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay. I love Alaska, dude. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we got earthquake every now and then. So what? I don't have tornadoes in Oklahoma and hurricane in Florida. Yeah, we all got issues. Sharks in Hawaii. We got all got issues. Okay. Crimes in Chicago. Okay, but we love where we live, right? Wherever you go, yeah, there will be problems. So. Okay, so you cannot run away from problems because everywhere you go, yeah, there are problems. So just be a problem solver, okay, rather than running away from it. All right. Okay, so copium channel. Okay, so um, ah, uh, yeah. Before let's talk about dogs. Okay, because it's in the morning, yeah, dogs bark, okay? I used to hate dogs. I used to hate American dogs, okay? You have dogs? I'm sorry. I have eaten some dogs when I was in Korea, okay? I did taste the meat, dog meat, and I didn't quite like the texture. I didn't like quite like the taste of dog meat, so I, I don't think I'm going to eat dogs again. But yeah, I, I did eat a couple. <laughs> Not one, but a couple, okay? I didn't quite like it. Uh, it's kind of greasy and... Uh. Not a huge fan, okay? But I learned to love dogs. Because I'm a runner, right? So dogs hate runners. Dogs, they love barking. It's like yelling. Because you know, some people like are like dogs. They love to yell. <laughs> they love getting angry. They get angry for no reason and they just start yelling. Just like dogs, right? Doggy personality, right? Yeah, dogs, they love barking. That's why they bark. They love 
it because they feel like, oh, I'm in charge. I'm a dog. You, you are a stranger. You are, you are like low down there. You are below me. Kneel down to me. Kneel and beg like a dog. Because I am a dog. You're a human being. You're not my owner. I'm not going to bite the hands that feed me. My owners, he's like my God. But you are a stranger. You are a shit. You don't mean a shit to me. So I will stop barking at you. Get the fuck out of here. Huh? So that's dog barking, okay? Oh, uh, I used to hate dogs, okay? Do they bark at me? What did, did I do wrong? You fucking stupid animal. Why are you barking at me? So annoying. Because I'm a runner, you know, and dogs hate runners. I used to hate them, but I learned to love them. Because dogs, they have all different personalities and different voices. So I recognized the. I came to appreciate all different dog barking sounds. Just like woodpecker, there is some. There are woodpeckers in Alaska. They, they come to my yard sometimes. I love that sound, and they have oh, it's so beautiful bird. They have vertical perching. They can st stand on a tree vertically. Very special kind of birds, woodpeckers. You know, uh, when I was living in California, yeah, I went to just to visit this Stanford University campus. I mean, I applied there, but they never gave me admission because, you know, I don't quite fit the profile. And I'm glad they didn't because I would have dropped out anyway. <laughs> I'm not an elite material. So, but yeah, I just campus tour by myself, you know, just to see. Hey, it's a beautiful campus. Beautiful campus, the palm trees, well-shaven skin, well-skinned, shaven palm tree. Yeah, beautiful campus. And they, I had, I've heard and seen this California woodpecker in the Stanford campus. It sounds like that wood, Woody the woodpecker, the cartoon, like, <laughs> right? You remember that? Back in 1980s? Maybe you're too young. Yeah, Woody the woodpecker, something like that. And this woodpecker in Stanford campus, in well, Palo Alto, California, like just below San Francisco, right? He was making the sound. Eh, 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 eh. <laughs> so I realized this cartoonists, they actually ma modeled after this character, Woody the Woodpecker, from actual Woodpecker, California Woodpecker. I didn't know that until I actually heard this Woodpecker making this singing, Woodpecker singing. Eh, eh, eh. It sounds just like that. Was wow, my goodness, it's real. <laughs> Very beautiful bird, woodpecker. Red, red hair, red streak, streak. Yeah, this uh, Alaskan woodpecker have this red head right here. Very pretty. Oh, birds are so beautiful. Yeah, they every now and then they come to my backyard, side yard. Always welcome guests. Yeah, do, so dogs, yeah, they bark. Okay, they love barking. Okay, they love yelling. Whatever. Okay. We'll talk about dogs later, okay? Because we gotta get through this. I'm shenanigunning. I'm bullshitting here, okay? It, it's Saturday morning. Okay, come on. Give me a break. So yeah, we'll do some dogs and logics, okay? Dog logic, okay? It's like a if else, if then kind of statement. If it's a dog function, okay? Dog X or barking function, bark function. I just do it briefly because it's very easy. Bark X is like this: dog. If X is the dog's owner then don't bark. If X is a stranger, yeah, then bark. If X is my owner's friend, so my owner introduced 
shake hands with his friend. And, oh, okay, then I'm not gonna bark at you because you are friend of my owner. Okay, simple logic. Okay, it's programmable. <laughs> Dogs, animals, they're like machinery. Okay. But when I run, right, sometimes some dogs love me because their owners are so lazy, they never run. But dogs love running. Just like children. Children love ru ru running. Also learning too, okay? Yeah, dogs love running, so sometimes they run with me. It's not my dog. I don't have any pets. What do I have in my house? Maybe a couple of spiders. <laughs> I, have, I don't have any bad bugs, fortunately. Okay, but I have a couple of spiders in my house. Whenever I see them, I kill them. I have a couple of little fruit flies in my house. Yeah, whenever I see them, I kill them. Okay. I don't want any living living things in my house except myself. I don't want any organism in my house. If they're a human single girl, yeah, I would love to have her for the weekend, sure. But nothing else. Just me. Yeah, I would love to have single girl here once in a while, but other than that, other than that, I don't want any living things in my house. Okay, so, but yeah, I go run sometimes in a park or in the neighborhood, and sometimes dogs run with me, and they love me because they have these lazy owners who never run, right? Because these lazy dog owners, what do they do? They walk the dog and they let the dog do all the exercise for them. They let the dog run, but they themselves never run. Lazy asses. So yeah, when I run, some dogs, they follow me and they run with me. Because they got so excited. Oh, finally a human being who can run like me. I want to run with him. So cute. Yeah, I learned to love dogs, okay? Whether they like me or not. They're cute. Beautiful. Yeah, cats, I love them too, okay? I'm gonna tell you a very funny story about cats. I love staring at them. Cats have very beautiful eyes. Green eyes, blue eyes, whatever, right? Big, beautiful eyes, cats. I stare at them and they stare at me. They stare back at me. It goes on like this, like, long time. I think cats are smarter than dogs, by the way. I think cats are also better fighters than dogs. Because dogs are kind of scavengers, right? Cats, they're hunters. Feral cats, Feral dogs, feral dogs probably won't last very long. Probably you'll end up dying. But feral cats, oh, they can survive. Because they know how to hunt. Cats are smart. they so rapticious. They sneak. Slowly. And they ah! kill a mouse. Snake, whatever. Bird. Yeah, cats know how to hunt. They sneak in and oh, smart dogs. Ah, scavengers, right? They beg for food. They don't last very long out in the wild. But cats, yeah, they can survive in the wild. Okay, it's their gene. Okay? They're hunters. They're not gatherers. They're hunters. Opportunists. Okay, cats are smart. Agile. They can climb the tree, man. Have you ever seen a dog on a tree? No, dogs cannot climb a tree. No, but cats can. They're Spider-Man, man. Have you seen these YouTube videos? This Cats can climb the wall like Spider-Man, dude. They can fly. They can jump. They can land. They can flip their body and land on four legs. Woo! Yeah, cats are... Extremely, extremely agile, smart, and beautiful, powerful animal, cats, okay?
kidding. <laughs> so yeah, I have friends with cats, so I would stare at the cat and he stares at me back, stare back at me. Hey, what the hell are you doing with my cat? Oh, I'm just having this staring contest with your cat. And some of my ex-girlfriends, they have cats, right? So sometimes I play with them when the girl, my ex-girlfriend is in the kitchen or doing something. What did I do? I kick, kicked it. I kicked the cat. Because this cat was so annoying. It was a male cat. So I kicked it. I mean, not too hard. But kind of, I, I did kick it though. So it ran away. So now it's afraid of me. <laughs> afraid of me. So every time I visit this ex-girlfriend's house, the cat like stay away because it remembers, right? But my ex-girlfriend, she was wondering, hey, why? Hey, he's okay. He's a nice guy. He's my boyfriend, you know? Yeah, come here. The cat wouldn't come. <laughs> she has no idea. <laughs> Later on, after we broke up, I told her, <laughs> do, you, do you wonder why your cat hates me? Because when you are away, I kicked it. Ah, but after we broke up, and we were still good friends, you know, I, I told her and then she was like, she was pissed. Another episode with cat, domestic cat. Yeah, they're just friend, right? I went to this ha friend's house and I was petting the cat and I didn't quite like this cat, so I did like this, like this cat claw grip. Do you know what this cat did to me? <laughs> it put its paw, front paw, on top of my hand and it did that same thing on me was pressing on me with his claw when I was doing this on his on this cat's back all right because I wanted to annoy it okay I love playing with animals I want to annoy animals okay so I did this to a cat and it did this back to me oh don't mess with me man because I can scratch and it scrap your veins out of your freaking back of your hand. Don't mess with me. Don't mess with me, man. <laughs> it was staring at me too. Staring at me like, oh, you can scratch? Oh, I'm a cat. I can scratch too. Be very careful here because don't mess with me, man. Because I can scrap your veins off of your back of your hand because I'm a cat and my claws it's sharper than yours. Ah! Cats are smart. <laughs> smart, smart ammo, okay? So. Well, it's staring at me like this. Oh, you, you be very careful now. <laughs> because I got you too. Ah! I love that interaction with animals, okay? Because animals are smart. How about moose? Whenever moose comes around or in a hiking trail or in my house, yeah, I would go near them as far as I can. Okay. I mean, as close as I can, okay? So then I stop because this moose is staring at me. Don't come any closer now. Because this is my area, this is my zone. Don't come any closer. Okay, then I stop, okay? Because I want to watch this moose very close. So I stopped and the moose, because he's kind of used to people, you know. So he, then he stare at me and then he go back to munching this tree bricks, grass, whatever. Because he's thinking, yeah, uh, he's, he's okay, he's fine, he's safe, he poses no danger, he just want to watch me. Yeah, whatever. Stupid people, stupid human beings, stupid fucking homo sapiens, watch me all you want, okay. They're used to people, residential moves or hiking trail moves, okay? So they eat and then on a hiking trail there are some other hikers and they the sound and the moose look up. Who is that? 
mm, I'm suspicious about those sounds because are the hikers because they may be hunters, you know. So I kind of feel privileged. He's okay with me, this moose, Alaska moose. But he's not okay with other people. Okay? Oh, now I'm, I feel privileged. Like this VIP treatment from this Alaska moose. He likes me, but he hates other people. Oh, yeah, great honor. I like this. So that's why some people have this pit bulls, these nasty, vicious dogs, because they feel privileged. This dog hates everybody, but he loves me and only me. Okay, so that's why some people love this vicious, evil dogs, because they, he's so mean to everybody else, but he loves me. Okay. And that's also why some girls love bad, bad boys, bullies, criminals even. Because he's mean to everybody else, but he's so nice to me. Oh, I feel so privileged. He's like people, you know. He hates everybody, but he loves me. He's mean to everybody. He bullies everybody else, but he's so loving to me. Yeah, I feel privileged. VIP, very important person. Hmm. But that's not good, okay? If you're a girl, you should not like bad boys because they're fakers. They're not strong men, okay? Do you know, if you're a woman, I need you to know this. A strong man is somebody who can fight himself, not others, okay? If you're a strong, if I'm a strong man, I fight myself. I don't fight other people. No. I do exercise. I'm nice to people, but I'm mean to myself. By hard working, exercising, learning, I discipline myself. That's a strong person. A person who's mean to other people, that's very weak people. The weak person. Okay? So, I need you to know this. Okay? So, a strength it's all about fight within, not without. Fight within, fight with oneself. That's strong person, strong man. Okay, so we take a break and we get back to the Scorpion channel theory. Because we have forty-five minutes left, so we have plenty of time. Okay.
So yeah, uh, when I'm the president, if I do become the president one day, hopefully 2021 January, I will show you America how fun exercise is. Because you can run in many different ways. You can run. Why don't I show you? You know. In the army, so yeah, we run different, many different ways. Okay, you can run high knee like this, or backward like uh, like a girl like la 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 like this, or you can run sideways like this. Okay, okay, you can run rotation. Okay, okay, there's so many different ways of running. Okay. And what I'm going to share with America is that exercise doesn't take time or money. I can do full body exercise, every part of my muscle in five minutes. I showed you. Push ups, what? 10, 20 times? I would rather do 21 times, like 7 plus 7 plus 7, okay? 7, 7, 7 workout, okay? 21 times push-ups, 21 times sit-ups in four directions I showed you, right? Then upside down, shoulder push-up against the wall. And squat and calf, this, you know, calf, like on your heel or squat. Yeah, full body exercise without any other stuff just need floor and wall that's all you need you don't need any money okay it, it only take five minutes to full, do full body exercise running you can run in your lunch time or around the blocks in your neighborhood you don't have to change clothing shoes I just run whatever shoes I'm wearing at that day dress shoes Winter boots, I run with it. With everything on me. So, yeah, exercise, I will show America. It doesn't take time or money at all. Okay? Just five minutes or ten minutes, twenty minutes, that's it. But five days a week. Okay? And you don't need sugar and fat. Yeah, you can drink alcohol and smoke cigarettes in the moderation. Okay? You can still have fun in your life and still be healthy, lean, like me. Okay? I'm nobody special. I'm. You know, by now, you know how stupid asshole I am, okay? I, I'm an idiot, okay? But, so if I can do it, so can you. Because you are smarter than me. You are stronger than me. I'm not that. Uh, I'm not too much disciplined, strong person. No, I'm not. If I can do it, anybody can. Anybody can. I'm nobody special. I'm just average guy. Okay. So, yeah. If I can live healthy, eat healthy, exercise, so can you. And so should you. And you can. All right. So, yeah, it's about spirit. It's not law. It's not money. It's not policy. No, it's a leading by example. Okay, that's why I'm running. Because I can do this. I can save America. I want to save America. I don't want America to go down in this dark path of this book of revelation. I don't want that shit. I reject. I believe I can save America. But I have to be the president because if I'm here as a paper pusher in Alaska, I cannot save the world. My voice does not reach anybody. It's just me talking to myself, like what I'm doing right now, okay? But if I'm the president, I need that power, influence, position. I need that. Yeah, I need fame. It's a tool. Without that, I, I cannot save the world. Okay, so I'm asking God, please, make me the president in 2021 January. Please. I know you can. <coughs> you are God. You can make miracles. And I believe that you can. 
to God, it's up to you. Do you want to save America, the world? Then you have to give me the presidency in 2021 January. Otherwise, the world will go down because there's nobody else. I am your guy. I'm the only one who can save this world. There's nobody else. So it's up to you. I'll leave that up to you. You are the creator. You are the owner of the universe. So you want to see the world go down? Well, fuck you, asshole. Fuck you. Okay. But if you are a nice guy, you better make me the president in 2021 January in America. Otherwise, this world will go down. Oh, you sound like a terrorist. What are you going to do? You're going to be a bomber terrorist? No. America, the world will destroy themselves. Okay, they come suicide. That's what they are doing. Tattoos, piercings, gay marriage, transgender surgery, plastic surgery, marijuana. Yeah, they're destroying themselves. They don't know what they're doing. They're possessed by the devil that you created. You're messing with us. I'm here to save the world from you. Because you are the one who created them and you're destroying them. Because what? Because it's fun to destroy things. Right? That's what you enjoy doing. I'm, I'm fighting you. I'm not fighting the devil. No, I'm fighting you. God, I'm fighting you. Okay, then you're fighting me. Then why should I help you? You are my enemy. You are no good for me. But, I mean, your son, Jesus, didn't, didn't he say, uh, you, God, his father, Jesus, his father, you, you love the world? <laughs> didn't you say, yeah, this is my beloved son. Hear him. Listen to him. Didn't you say that? Maybe you lied, huh? Maybe you lied. You're such a shitty liar, man. God, you shit liar. Shit ass liar. Man. Pain in the ass, man. You're like... Uh, acting like a girl. Acting like a boss. Always fucking pain in the ass. Always being so difficult. Say this. You torture us. You torture me. And you enjoy that, don't you? I know. Yeah, girls do that. That's why they are always silent. They don't talk to guys, girls, girlfriends, dates. Yeah, they, because they enjoy that silence. They enjoy torturing guys. Say this. Boss, God, girlfriend. Date, they're always like that, okay? They got something we want. Money. Boss, they have money, right? Girl, girl, girlfriend, date. They got their body that we guys want. God, yeah, he got everything. <laughs> so they're higher, okay? They're like higher beings, so... God, you're acting like a girl. Okay, how about that? <laughs> oh, boy. Let me shut the fuck up and get back to this, okay? Humanology. Okay, so, uh, yeah, copy on channel, okay? Okay, you have this path, road, whatever. If you don't use it, yeah, the resistance, obstacles, it goes up. Up here. But when you keep using it, yeah, it go, resistance go down because snow get packed, the grasses get they get stepped down, trodden, stepped on. Okay, resistance go down as you more use this channel, you more and more. Okay, and your habit, same way. If you you're learning your language, foreign language skill. If you don't use it, your foreign language skill, like for me, I learned French a very long time ago. Like, comment allez-vous, ça va, bonjour, bonsoir, ça va bien. Yeah, I, I know French, but I haven't used it for a very long time. So, yeah, the resistance go up. I forget things. It becomes very hard to remember 
and talk or read French because I haven't done it for a long time. So resistance go up, it become uphill. But as I learn, as I study, as I speak, read more French, yeah, it become easier. Resistance go down. It's like downhill. Okay, easier, get easier, right? So that's the tra that's the traditional copium channel theory we had so far. That we covered in the past. Then I studied plumbing because my, some of my friends are plumbers. They taught me something new. So it's a great brand new audition. Cross pollination, this uh, metaphysical. Uh, yeah, cross pollination. Okay, what I learned is this. Sometimes there's this pipe, and then this this liquid go through this pipe, and it eats. It's eating you. Do you, can you see what I'm getting at? What I'm trying to get at with this? You do it over and over and over again. You get tired, you get sick and tired of it. You get fed up with it. You get jaded. That's the internal build up. Corrosion, internal corrosion. You have steel pipe, water throw it, water go through it, and there's electrolysis, whatever. So but water is maybe acidic a little bit. Start to corrode this pipe. And then there is this rust rusted metal particles that build up and you can block the pipe clogging internal clogging because in a in a heating system yeah it's water flowing circulating it's a closed system nothing gets in or nothing gets out it's closed system, just like electrical circuit. In the electrical circuit, you have this switch. It's on or off. It's, there's nothing in the middle. Okay? Switch on, switch off. It's like digital, zero or one, right? <coughs> but pipe system, this fluid dynamics, it's not like that. It's an analog. A switch in a pipe system plumbing system is a valve you can close it or you can open it or you can be halfway in between to slow down the flow airflow water flow okay it's analog system it's a continuous it's not on and off no they're halfway between it's a sliding scale this valve okay so and so water circulate air circulate but the water yeah it can corrode this steel pipe so all this it can rusty rusty particles it can build up and it can block the pipe off switch nothing flows or it can slow down those this water flow in this closed system closed water circuit okay it can slow down or it can completely block it because this water is eroding this metal, metal, steel metal type pipe. Okay, yeah, it's boredom, jadedness. Oh, I've been doing this forever, so uh, I don't want to do this anymore because I'm sick and tired of doing the same shit again and again and again. <sighs> Internal build up. Okay, so. If that happens, yeah, the resistance go back up. You know how to do it, but you don't want to do it because you've been doing that for a long time. It's very hard for you to do this again and again and again. Resistance go up. Okay, so that's a brand new addition to this copium channel theory that I learned from my uh, plumber friends <laughs> who's making twice as much money as I do, okay? They're professionals. Okay. Oh. Wisdom and knowledge. They know what they're doing. They're problem solvers, you know. They 
they really good at what they're doing. Okay. They deserve the money that they are making. Okay. So. Yeah. So when I'm the president, I'm gonna invite them in. I'm gonna give them some good position in the White House. Okay. Because if you think about society, it's like plumbing, right? There are channels, hubs, joints. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, average Americans. Those are the people that will be with me in the White House in what and also in the Washington DC. Okay, average Americans. It will be that. It, yeah. Draining the swamp. Yeah, he's correct. President Trump. He got the right idea. But he's he is not capable of implementing, executing his ideas. I think. He want to build a wall, southern border wall. Yeah, he good idea from him, but he's not capable of building the wall. I can, okay. That's why you should vote for me in twenty twenty November, okay. I will make it happen, okay. Because I'm young, I'm smarter, stronger than President Trump, okay. And all the good ideas of his, yeah, I absorb it. I read his books. I watched his apprentice TV shows. Yeah, he's 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 cool. Okay, he's good. Uh, it's just that uh, he does not deserve this 2020 title. It's mine. Okay, he doesn't de deserve that title. Okay. Yeah, he could be. He probably if he accepts my offer. Yeah, he will be my advisor. One of my advisors because he got some good ideas, but he's too old. Okay, he's not capable of running this country anymore. He's just too old. It's time for him to go back home, Manhattan penthouse or Mira Mira Lago, whatever. Yeah, take care of your kids, your grandkids. Okay. By the way, did I talk shit about Ivanka Trump and Jared Kushner's daughter? Yeah, I I mean. She's, she looks like fucking Hispanic and then um, ugly as fuck and I just feel bad about this white girl, blonde girl, Ivanka Trump. She's so fucking stupid dumb blonde dude. Having plastic surgery and marrying an ethnic man or Jew. Oh, come on. Shit ass moron, right? Ugh, disgusting. Ultra interracialistic. So yeah, they're Doro. Yeah, it's, it's not white. Theodoro, Ivanka Trump, and Jared Kushner. Yeah, it looks like fucking Hispanic, man. That's what happens when an ethnic man marries a white girl. Okay? Beautiful white girl. Yeah, the white gene is killed, murdered, genocided. Ultra interracialistic marriage is a micro genocide. You're killing the white race. Okay? And that's wrong, that's bad, that's lustful, greedy, and sinful. Okay? It's demonic, satanic, and destructive. Alright? We have plenty of ethnics. 80% of humanity is ethnic. Only 20% of human population is white people. They're minority. Okay? We need to preserve and protect them. It's that simple. It's preservation, conservation of a s endangered species. That's not conservative. That's very liberal. That's like democratic leftist idea. Yeah, preservation of endangered species. It's like environmentalism, okay? You apply em environmentalism, protection of endangered species to animals and plants. Why not to human beings? Okay? So you see why people? Oh yeah, white, that's racist. Yeah, you get rid of white, all the white people because white, white Caucasian, that's like Nazi, that's like Hitler. Oh, it's racist, white supremacist, that's racist. Get rid of white people. Satanic liberalism. Satanic Democratic Party agenda, okay? 
I mean, it's not just Democratic Party. Look at Marco Rubio and fucking Ted Cruz. They're Republican Party senators. Yeah, but they married off to these white girls, blonde girls, the most beautiful blonde girls that they can find. Because Marco Rubio, Ted Cruz, Bruce Lee, Tiger Woods, Steven Spielberg, Jared Kushner, what, Jimi Hendrix, yeah, the ultra interracialists, the ethnic guys who go after the most beautiful model type white girls. Ew. Disgusting, right? <sighs> but don't commit any violence on them, okay? Just know that what they're doing is wrong. Because they're also victims too. By Satan that God created. God created Satan of ultra interracialism and God ordered this Satan to possess them. They're all victims. They don't know what they're doing. They're possessed by the devil. Okay? And they're US senators, son-in-law of President Trump. <laughs> Bruce Lee, Tiger Woods, okay, or some basketball star. President Obama's father. Ah, sad. I'm not a huge fan of God. Yeah, okay. If I die today, yeah, I go to heaven. Maybe there will be like 7 trillion virgins. Okay. Waiting for me. And I don't want them to be all white though. No. Oh, fuck that. Okay, if I die, my par my version of paradise uh, is virgin. Seven trillion virgins. Do I want all them to be white? No, no way. I want some of them to be Asians, Blacks, Middle Easterns, Indians, Hispanics. And I want some white girls too. I want all the girls of all different races in my afterlife paradise. Because I know I love the di diversity. I want diversity preserved. I want I don't want everybody to be Hispanic like black and white and Asian, all mixed together, that's Hispanic, right? I don't want everybody to be Hispanic. I love Hispanics, okay? But I want blacks to be blacks, whites to be whites, Asians to be Asians, Indians to be Indians, Middle Eastern to be Middle Eastern, and Hispanics to be Hispanics. I want them all. I, I like the diversity. That's why I'm here in America. Diversity of race, okay? But in white people, there's diversity in white people alone. They're brunettes, red hair, blonde, pink skin, white skin, a little bit brown skin, green eyes, blue eyes, brown eyes. So white Caucasian is very colorful race. The only colorful race of all races. And there are only 20% of them in the world, okay? We have to prote protect and preserve this beautiful Caucasian race. How many times should I tell you this? <sighs> okay, so yeah. So, sinusoidal, okay? So copium is like, the copium channel is like this, sinusoidal, okay? Okay, in the beginning, it's very uphill, you know, uphill battle. But as you learn the ropes, yeah, it gets easier, it's downhill. But if you do it again and again and again, you're too good at it. So, oh, I'm jaded, fed up, bored. So it's now become uphill. That's the internal buildup, corrosion, okay? And then, you know what? You stop doing it, right? 
but later on you know I haven't been doing this for a long while I kind of miss it because I took a break from it I came back from vacation oh now I'm enjoying it my good old friend okay yeah now I'm enjoying doing it just like me as an ex computer programmer yeah when I was doing it, oh I'm fucking fed up with it I've been doing it for fucking two decades man I don't want to do it but later on after a while you know what I kind of miss it computer programming oh it's downhill it feels so good reunion with a good old friend computer programming you know then uphill again downhill yes so it's sinusoidal rhythm of copium channel okay so that's it okay that's what I want to talk about we got it. So yeah, we added this plumbing component, this internal corrosion to it, and now it has been improved. Copium channel theory, okay? We have like 10 minutes left, but uh, <clears throat> we may just stop here because uh, what I'm gonna do, maybe dancing and singing, okay? How about this? We have 10 minutes left. I will show you. Full body exercise. Let's do it. Because yesterday I did run, but I didn't do any muscle exercises yesterday. Okay, so I will show you for the rest of 10 minutes how to do full body workout. Okay, but we're going to take a brief break. So I only need five minutes. I don't need more than that, okay? So we'll take a break, okay? We'll be back. Okay. I'm gonna turn off the heater. Because it's gonna get hot. I'll get oxygen because we will need a lot of oxygen. Alright, we'll be back.
recording, I'll do some singing and dancing along with the big screen TV, hooked up with the internet, YouTube, okay. But we have, how many minutes do we have? Five minutes, okay, that's enough. I will show you full body exercise, okay. We'll start with push-ups. In, in Chinese tradition, you can do many different kinds of push-ups, okay. In the US Army, yeah, you can do two kinds of push-ups, maybe three kinds, okay? I will show it all, okay? So let's do 777, okay? 777 work, workout, all right? So in Chinese tradition, you can do push-up with this crane style. You, I learned it from my friends, okay, who know Kung Fu. More than I do. Yeah, you can do crane style. You can use the, your wrist as a punching tool. Ah, you know, you want to strengthen your wrist. So yeah, I'll do seven, okay? One, two. Can you see this? My wrist. Three, four, five, six, seven. You want to strengthen your leopard style. Yeah, you can do leopard style. This, uh, Knuckles, okay? You can push up with that. Oh! <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe not this time, okay? Oh, boy. I'm just giving you some ideas, okay? Or you can, if you are snake style or tiger style, yeah, you can do push up with your fingers, okay? Yeah, I can do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. In the army, when you are injured or weak, you can still do push up with your knees. Maybe you can do this uh, leopard style with my knee. Okay? I have my knee down. Okay? One. Oh, shit. Two. Oh. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Okay? Oh. Yeah, you are injured, you are weak, you can still, still exercise. Okay? And then just regular palm, you know, palm. Yeah, you strengthen your palm. Yeah, regular push up with your palm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Now, we'll do upside down shoulder push up. Okay. All you need is a wall. Okay. You just need a wall. We have two minutes left. Real quick. You just need a wall. Yeah, you just go upside down like this, okay? Ugh. Okay. Well, I, I don't want to show you my belly. <laughs> so, I gotta tuck my shirt in. Okay? Yeah, just go upside down like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, one. Okay? Woo! How many times do you? We have one minute. All right. We'll do sit ups, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. To the side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The other side. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven. Now, front position. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay? Woo! We have 30 seconds left. Okay? It's that simple. Whole body exercise. We can do this calf. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Squat. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Five minutes. Okay. That's it. Thank you. Good night. I mean, have a nice day. Bye.